What does Australia and Moraga, California have in common? A school nestled in the East Bay Hills called St. Mary's, an Australian connection with women's and men's basketball team, started off randomly and has continued to grow over the years. Sammy O'Brien gives us the unfolding story of how the connection started and where it stands now. Just 23 miles east of San Francisco lies a town deep in the hills called Moraga. Nestled inside, a quaint college with 4,000 students, faculty, and alumni with a deep connection to the land down under. Welcome to Little Australia. It was a, just a random thing. It was another coach, Russ Brunell, was at Arizona State. And they made a foreign tour over there. He told me, hey, they have a good guard that wants to come over. I'd you know, gotten the job in April, and we were scrambling, trying to get some good players. I think it was one call. I was just talked to him a little bit, and I said, hey, you want to do this? And he was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't know either, like first phone call. And that was that. I was picking his brain when I said, you got any other guys over there that you think could help? He said, I, we got one that might be able to. I think he's probably, probably could help. And uh, I said, yeah, who's that? He said, this, this guy named Daniel Kicker. He ended up being all-time leading scorer at St. Mary's. So the first one was luck. Kicker was a little lucky, but we at least recruited him right. And then after that, all right, we figured out these guys are pretty good. It's been well documented on the St. Mary's men's side with 18 Australians over Bennett's 17 seasons, at least one Australian every year, including a franchise high seven Aussies in 2017. Lesser known but gaining ground is the eight Sheilas in Paul Thomas's 12 seasons with a record high five next fall. Our first Australian was Luella Tomlinson. Uh, I mean, I couldn't be happier or prouder of what she's accomplished. She's still playing over there. But it took us a few tries after Luella got here. I mean, uh, our next one was, I believe, was Kate Gaze. It just is a matter of finding the right person. You have to find the right fit and the right people that want this environment. When I started playing Nationals, um, there was photos of Matthew Delvedova around, and then I saw that Luella Thomason played for the Perth Lynx one season and I saw that she played here and compared to a lot of other people I found out about it quite late but when I found out about it I couldn't escape it. Bennett laid down the Australian Foundation early if only by accident by providing a stream to the untapped talent down under. In 2006 newly hired Thomas was made aware of the Gales recruiting success on the other side of the world and couldn't resist. It was suggested I mean no one I, I joke about it but no one would ever say you have to recruit Australia but it just seemed supernatural uh, and it and it really is a it's a it's a good fit San Francisco is similar to Melbourne um, San Francisco is similar to Sydney so there there's just some very close similarities when it comes to those things and I think that helps I definitely think it is like that helps both programs is all right I'm gonna have some people there that can relate to me and I know them and they end up looking after one another over here which is pretty cool what began as random according to Randy Ben it has turned into a home away from home for the Aussies on both sides, 8,000 miles away in Moraga, California. It's really easy just to kind of like understand like what you're expecting. You just kind of like fit in. You have other Australians here and stuff like that. So I think that they were just really smart in how they went about like recruiting Australians because like they just made it, they made it the easy decision for anyone from Australia who comes out here. And I think that's why their pipeline has been like so good. Just being able to wear thongs, like your sandals and not look like an idiot walking around wearing your underwear on your feet. St. Mary's had a lot of good big men, good point guards come through and that's our position so uh, the coaches can develop those positions um, as people have had success after which is always a big draw as well. The transition from Australia to America is made a lot easier when you're surrounded by people from the same country and understand what you're going through day to day. From the Australia Day flag hung up in McEwen every home game to meet pies on Australia Day. And from Aussie, Aussie, Aussie chants to a green and gold student section around January 26th, Moraga, California truly is Little Australia. It's a good fit, and now we've had so many of them there. It's just, I mean, St. Mary's basketball and Australian players, they go in the same sentence. 
I know it started with one, the first few years it might have been one on the team or two on the team, and it slowly built up to the point last year we had seven, like half a team was Australian. I think it's, it's pretty unreal and something, you know, we hope to continue, maybe the whole team will be Australian. For WCC This Week, I'm Sammy O'Brien.